Rahul Gandhi there filing his nomination for the second time from Wayanad, a safe seat for the Congress. Rahul Gandhi filing his nomination with his sister Priyanka Gandhi in Wayanad. The last time that he contested elections in 2019, Rahul Gandhi won a whopping 64.3% vote share. Nearly 4.5 lakh votes, 4 lakh 30,000 uh, roughly. That was the vote the votes that he won from Wynad. In fact, this has been a Congress bastion for the last three terms. And Rahul Gandhi, last time to this time, will he maintain his vote share? The kind of love and adulation that he gets from Wynad, will that continue this time around? Of course, only June 1st uh, or 4th when counting happens, we'll really know what margins that Rahul Gandhi comes with in the state uh, parliamentary constituency of Vayanad. In fact, the seven assembly segments of Vayanad, all of them largely dominated by Congress leaders. It's a Congress stronghold, assembly and parliamentary. For Rahul Gandhi, this is the best seat available as per the Congress's internal survey itself. There was a lot of talk that he may just be taking a shot from Amethi as well, like he did in 2019, contested both Amethi and Wayanad. This time, he's been clear, he will only contest Wayanad. He's been accompanied by his sister, Priyanka Gandhi, as he files his nomination in Wayanad. Now, we know that Wayanad is a rural constituency, by and large. It's a rural constituency, the demographics of it, a large chunk of minority population who hail from Wayanad. In fact, this is uh, very interesting to see that the BJP this time has fielded their strongman in Kerala, who's the chief of the BJP in Kerala, against Rahul Gandhi. It's very interesting to see that Surindran, so far, hasn't really won an election in Kerala, though, but nonetheless, leading the BJP in Kerala has been fielded against Rahul Gandhi in a way to make a statement. The BJP really pulling all stops to ensure that this is a real hot seat to watch out for. In fact, in Amethi, the BJP had then fielded Smriti Irani, who really ensured that Rahul Gandhi loses his bastion. And now Rahul Gandhi moving to Wayanad from Amethi, here to the BJP file, uh, fielding Surindran uh, to see if he, he can put up a tough fight against Rahul Gandhi. But remember, the real fight also is with heavyweight CPIM candidate Annie Raja. And that's what's really led to the India Bloc Alliance, mem the, uh, Alliance members itself not aligned on this very constituency of Wayanad. Because the CPIM and the Congress warring over Rahul Gandhi leaving North India and coming to Wayanad, a place that is not home to him, the whole outsider-insider debate that unfolds with CPIM condemning the Congress of putting up a fight against its own India bloc ally, the CP CPIM's Annie Raja. We have Shibi Mol, who's right there in Kerala, Wayanad, very closely tracking all those visuals. Shibi, Rahul Gandhi filing his nomination. There's a lot of criticism that this is a safe seat. He's gone, gone to a safe seat where he's surely going to win. 64.3% vote share that he got the last time. He's hoping to retain that margin this time as well. But this time it seems like the fight itself is very interesting. Very uh, Two tough candidates have been posed, one by the BJP and the other by their own India Bloc allies, CPIM. Well, absolutely, Nabila. Rahul Gandhi has just filed the nomination. We're right outside the collectorate where the no where he's gone inside, along with uh, Priyanka Gandhi as well as KC Venugopal to file the nomination. Uh, well, like you mentioned, the scenes are different from what it was in 2019. In 2019, there was a lot of discussion about Rahul Gandhi's candidature this time. Definitely, there is a political contest uh, with uh, CPI fielding Annie Raja. CPI initially itself, from the right from the beginning itself, uh, you know, raising this concern of Rahul Gandhi contesting in Wayanad against the India Alliance partner. Uh, in fact, uh, the BJP also surprisingly fielding K. Surendran, who was not there in the picture initially, because K. Surendran initially was uh, set, uh, was planning to not contest the Lok Sabha polls. But at the last moment, the you know BJP stepping in to make it a you know, a three-way contest, at least politically. But of course, for BJP, as far as BJP is concerned, it's not a seat that comes under their priority list in the top five or top ten list. Uh, but yes, they are fielded the 
most prominent face of the party in the state in the form of K. Surendran against Rahul Gandhi, ensuring that the contest does not just, or the discussions at least, the political contest is not limited to the left and the Congress, but the BJP also. Tomorrow, uh, Smriti Irani will be joining K. Surendran when he is going to file the nomination at the same location here in Kalpeta. Again, you know, trying to bring that Smriti versus Rahul aspect also to Wayanad here. Uh, but yes, uh, the contest this time is much more tougher with the CPI fielding Ani Raja, a strong candidate, and of course, Rahul Gandhi's performance as the MP, the Member of Parliament, in the last five years will also come into the picture. He will be evaluated on his performance because when we spoke to the voters since yesterday, we are hearing about how his absence had in, impacted certain pockets, at least, uh, with, uh, you know, especially when there was a lot of protest on this in, in the district against the man-animal conflict. Where was the MP? Did the MP raise the issues in the Parliament of the man-animal conflict? Are all concerns for the voters? But yes, this is a stronghold of the Congress Party. Uh, it is spread across not just Wynard, it, it is also spread across Kodi Kod and Malapuram also. You know, seven assembly constituencies covering three districts is Wynard parliamentary constituency, which is a stronghold of the Congress. Ever since Wynard went to Lok Sabha polls, it has been electing a Congress candidate, uh, Congress candidate uh, to the Lok Sabha. So this time also, they are, uh, you know, uh, expecting Rahul Gandhi to win. But of course, the winning margin is what is going to spark a debate because last time we saw him winning in a bar with a margin of around 4 lakh 30,000 votes. That if, if will he be able to maintain that amount of margin is something that we'll have to wait and watch. But yes, the, both the other parties fielding strong candidates, making a political contest is something that we'll have to definitely watch out. Uh, he will be returning to Delhi after this is what we are understanding. Uh, in a while, in one, one hour or so, he will be going back to Delhi. But in the coming two weeks, he Should will be, be visiting Wynad again. Uh, there are two more visits scheduled is what the Congress sources are telling. Right. Yeah. Shibi, I, I have a very pointed question to ask. In the five years that Rahul Gandhi has been the MP for Wynard? Has he been regular attending to the people's concerns? Uh, has he indulged in se himself in uh, shaping Wynard itself for the better? Because we know it's a rural constituency. What has he really done if we know uh, and if it's measurable to uplift the constituency itself from its rural status? Well, uh, Rahul Gandhi's focus as per his office and uh, as per the Congress party has been on the education as well as the health requirements. If you see, Wynad is a constituency, Wynad is a district where they don't have a proper medical college. That's a concern the residents have been raising for a while. So his contribution, whenever he's coming to the district, have been there most of the times whenever he's in the uh, constituency covering his events. So most of the time the focus has been on education as well as health and also there's a considerable tribal population in Wynad district itself. So... Uh, we have seen that happening, but, uh, you know, when I spoke to some of the voters, some of them were raising this concern that the attendance in the parliament is around 50 percent. That's not something that they, a lot of them are happy about. Uh, it's a very political crowd out here in Kerala. When they are electing an MP to the parliament, there are a so, lot of aspects that they check, that they keep in mind. Uh, but yes, uh, uh, the performance-wise, that's something the voters will have to decide. But yes, the focus mainly have been on these aspects. He has used his MP fund to an extent as uh, what the data is showing. Uh, almost around 70-80 percent MP data, MP fund has been used in the constituencies, what the data had showed. Uh, but yes, w whether he was successful in giving Wynard the status that was promised five years back is something that we'll have to wait and watch. We'll have to see the, how the voters are going to vote and probably in the voting pattern we'll get to know whether he was successful right. in delivering. But Shibi, of course, he what was is the status that he that as yeah. what, is, what is exactly the status he's promised for Wynard? Could you um, elaborate on that. What exactly has he promised for Wynard? How far has he delivered? Well, some of the major promises five years ago included the, you know, the in connection with the medical college, you know, uh, it's the, even last time when he came to Wynard during the Bar Jodha Nyai Yatra, when there was a lot of protest happening in regard the man-animal con connection with the man-animal conflict, he had revisited the constituency where he said that I've been consistently demanding for a medical college in Wynard. Why has it not been delivered? I've written to Chief Minister, I've written to the, uh, you know, the uh, I've written to whoever... Uh, possible, but it has not been fulfilled is what he has been saying. Uh, then also there are a lot of, uh, you know, main concerns are the man-animal conflict that has been raised here because uh, the state government stand is that the wild, if there can be any changes that 
uh, you know, if, uh, in connection with the man-animal conflict, then there are certain regulations in the Wildlife Act that should be implemented for that. The union, the union government should, uh, you know, consider the demands of the state government. But the question here, one of some of the voters were asking that, did Rahul Gandhi raise this concern in the parliament about the man-animal conflict, about the regulations that should be amended in the Wildlife Act? Uh, only then, you know, which will only help or facilitate his actions on the ground to solve this issue of man-animal conflict. But yes, uh, definitely the medical college, the man-animal conflict concerns are the main issues that he was, uh, you know, uh, uh, campaigning in 2019. But this time, of course, uh, medical college has not been fulfilled, but definitely the man-animal conflict is probably one of the main factors on which the voters will also be voting this time. You know, at the, what we know, Shibi, that the CPIM have fielded their candidates against the UDF, against the Congress-led UDF, in many other constituencies as well. So why not is not the only constituency where the Congress and the CPIM are facing off. But somehow, this very constituency is made out to be larger than life, uh, with the CPIM slamming the Congress, saying this is, a, you know, the direct fight is with us, it's not with the BJP, why are you contesting from here, etc. Uh, so, so give us more in that context, where the CPIM... Uh, has done the same in other constituencies as well. Congress and CPIM are facing off. But the issue is much larger and louder here in Lok Sabha, Vainad, because of Rahul Gandhi, is it? Well, absolutely. That is the case. The matter is only concerning Vainad because in all the 20 constituencies of Kerala, the left and the UD Congress led UDF are against each other. But that has been the tradition in Kerala because the fact that both the parties cannot form an alliance, uh, it's a given that they cannot form an alliance. Even when the India alliance was formed, it was already decided that there's no, there's, they won't form an alliance in the state or rather there's no requirement for an alliance because the direct fight is between these two parties. If they form an alliance, that would be suicidal for both the parties in the state because BJP is not a major force other than two or three constituencies. They're not really a major threat to both the parties. In most of the constituencies, 80 to 90 percent of the constituencies, the direct contest is between left and the Congress. That's the reason they have not formed an alliance and they're okay with the other, in other constituencies, both the left and the Congress candidates coming against each other. But in Wayanad, it's a different story because Rahul Gandhi is one of the main leaders of the opposition front, the India Alliance. So if he is not choosing to contest against the BJP, the India Alliance agenda is clear that it, their fight is against the BJP at the center. So if he is deciding to contest against his own alliance partner, looking for a safe reach, running to a Congress stronghold, rather than the Hindi heartland where, you know, most number of MPs come from against the BJP. If he's not ready for a fight against the BJP, then that really sends a wrong message is what the left was alleging. And they were clearly saying that this is a call that Congress, especially Rahul Gandhi, should take, being the leader, one of the main faces of the India alliance, because the message is really wrong. And especially with the BJP also raising consistently questions about the India Alliance partners here having, uh, you know, uh, here uh, not here against each other and outside the state they are friends. So that's something the Prime Minister has also been raising. Even yesterday when we spoke to K. Surendra, the NDA candidate, the first thing he raised was, I saw last day D. Raja and Rahul Gandhi hugging each other at the uh, Ram Leela Maidan when the India Alliance took out the mega rally. But here he is against Annie Raja, the same D. Raja's uh, wife as well as CPI leader. So what message does this send? So this is something the voters need to decide is what he said. So it's a good political tool for the BJP in the state and they have been very strongly using it. But yes, uh, in all the other constituency, 80 to except for Tiruvannathapuram, Trishur, Palakkad and a few other constituencies, it's mostly a direct left versus Congress fight because they have been the strongest parties in the state over the decades. They've been alternatively ruling the state also. So in other constituencies, it's fine. But in Wayanad, it's a different story because it's Rahul Gandhi. All right, because it's Rahul Gandhi. And we've heard uh, very clearly what the uh, CPIM leaders have by and large said. If your fight is really against the BJP, if you've come together as an alliance, uh, the India Bloc Alliance, with one sole purpose to defeat the BJP, then this is certainly wrong messaging. Rahul Gandhi fighting off the CPIM candidate, really. The, the direct fight in Vyanad is not between uh, the Congress or the BJP and the BJP. It's between the Congress and the CPIM. Though... Rahul Gandhi, now coming back to seek a re-election from Wayanad, has filed his nomination. Here's what he said a little while ago, cutting across to his reaction. I was really embraced by the people of Wayanad. Regardless of which party they came from, regardless of which community they came from, regardless of how old they were, Every single person in Wayanad gave me love, 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 love. 
affection, respect, and treated me as one of their own. I am not uh, 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 here to uh, examine whether Rahul Gandhi is afraid or UDF is afraid or not. We are here, I am here as a left Democratic Friends candidate to go to the people and tell them, to understand them what uh, they expect from me. And that work we are doing for, the, for uh, more than a month. I am very close to this Wayanad constituency, my native places. So I am coming from uh, the same situations are there, so I am facing the, those situations, whether, whether it is man-animal conflict or the agrarian crisis, all those things. You know, uh, Shibi Mol is still with us. Shibi, Annie Raja of the CPIM is no small fry. She is in fact a heavyweight uh, of this of the left party and has been largely in Delhi, is a local to Kerala, comes from the neighboring uh, constituency of Wayanad. So she really understands the pulse on the ground. If not for Rahul Gandhi, if it was any other ordinary candidate, what were the chances of Annie Raja itself? Uh, well, uh, Annie Raja's chances, you know, uh, like I was mentioning earlier, the why not parliamentary constituency is a stronghold of the Congress party. The left doesn't stand a major chance, whoever it is, even if it's not Rahul Gandhi, even if it's somebody else also. The left does not stand a major chance. But if we see in 2014, the victory margin of the Congress candidates was around only 20,000 votes. So if, the, if there was a left, if there is a left wave, then it's not a constituency that will not sideline with the CPA also. Uh, but yes, uh, it's been traditionally a stronghold of the Congress party. This area has been a stronghold of the Congress-led UDF. I would say Congress-led UDF because the constituency, why not constituency spread across Malapuram and Kodikod also and Malapuram and Kodikod, the IUML, the Indian Union Muslim League which is the main ally of the Congress has very strong influence. Most of their uh, M MLAs and MPs come from Ma Malapuram and Kodikod constituencies. So uh, it is also in alliance with the Muslim League that, the, that why not parliamentary constituency becomes a stronghold of the Congress. So in that case it is a strong, stronghold of the Congress but uh, you know we have seen left in the past also, even in 2019 also working very hard on ground. They are very good organized organizational structure in, compar in comparison to other parties in the state. The booth level work is very strong. So here also yesterday I covered a bit of Annie Raja's campaign where uh, you see she being on the ground and the promise that she gave to the voters when I met her was uh, I the promise I can give you is that I will be in the constituency I will not be coming here once in a while or something in once in few months but I will regularly be in the constituency she's from the neighboring district of Kannur so uh, that's again one appeal that she's making that I'm from the constituency I'm from uh, Kerala from the northern part of Kerala I do understand the issues of the people here uh, so my appeal is very strong that I will always stand for the people unlike somebody who is an outsider that's a direct dig at Rahul Gandhi that he is an outsider, he does not really understand the uh, problems of the people or even the there's a strong language barrier also. So these are issues that is not there with me. So a campaign has been very strong, the left's campaign has been strong. They started much before the Congress candidate was announced, the Congress started discussing candidates, the candidature was announced, they were on ground. Uh, Annie, Ra Annie Raj has already taken out a lot of rallies against the CA also. Remember, it has good minority population in the constituency, why not parliamentary constituency in general because it comes under Malapuram and Kodikod also. So, uh, the C, the impact of CA, left has been very strongly, uh, you know, using CA as a, an election tool uh, in the state and uh, Ra uh, Annie Raj has already taken out a lot of rallies. So, how that will also impact the mind among the, what influence that will make among the minority vote bank is also something that we'll have to wait and watch. But yes, as a constituency wise, it is a stronghold of the Congress party. It has been like that for decades point that you made uh, Shibi is on CAA itself being one of the uh, poll campaigns an anti-CAA campaign that the uh, the left has promised to put up as one of their uh, campaign pitches in Bayanad very interestingly the Congress hasn't been as clear about CAA hasn't really taken a stand against CAA um, not a very clear stand against it how have the people reacted in Vayanad? We know that the demographics in Vayanad, large chunks of them are the minority population who are largely seemingly against Citizenship Amendment Act, fearing that this could target them. Uh, so has the Congress, particularly Rahul Gandhi, done anything to allay those fears? Well, uh, you know, as far as the CAA 
is concerned in Kerala, it's been a political tool with the left using it very efficiently in the last few uh, weeks, if we notice. They have already, Chief Minister Pinrai Vijan has already organized around, attended five rallies, addressed five gatherings in various districts, especially in the northern part of Kerala against CA. So the left has been trying to use this as a political tool, you know, saying that we are a better champion of this cause. We are better when it comes to raising our voice for the minority, for maintaining India as a secular nation. That's what the left's narrative has been. They have been very very strongly doing it. But as far as Congress is concerned, they have not been there in the picture, taking out rallies or taking out a lot of, uh, you know, uh, protest rallies against this. But CPIM, uh, the CPI, CPIM, all the left parties in the state, not just in Wayanad, across the state, right from Thiruvannadapuram to Kasargod, across the state, they have been on the ground taking out marches. So uh, the minority vote bank, the left really believes that there will be a slight change in the mind, the way minority uh, minorities are going to vote in the state, uh, especially that will come in favor favor of left is what the left leadership strongly believes. Uh, but yes, the Congress, they do have, they do not have, they have never really made their stand clear on it. Of course, they've said that they're against CAA, they've raised the voice in the parliament is what all the MPs, MLAs and the leaders, state leaders, whoever we spoke to has said. But the left, especially Chief Minister Pindrai Vijayan has been accusing Congress of not having a clear stand in the issue, not just in this issue, but a lot of issues, whether it's UCC or CAA, or many issues, they have not taken a clear stand. But as far as the left is concerned, they had a clear stand on all the issues. So you have to decide who you want to elect is what the left's narrative have been. All right. You know, uh, Shibi, if you could stay with us, I'm going to quickly cut across to what Pinrai Vijayan, in fact, said about Rahul Gandhi contesting against a CPIM candidate, Annie Raja. He uh, came down quite heavily on his India Bloc Alliance member, the Congress, right ahead of polls. Have a listen. Rahul Gandhi, Ibrahim Gandhi, the leader of the Ani Raja, Ani Raja, the Asia that is today, all of our Kumariya Padma, Pradha Prashan Neda Varal, our all, Manipur in the Raja Dil, Raja Drohi Ayi Chitra Yiri Kapatil, what is it? BJP Day. BJP government in the day, the time, the day, the Shatama and the Lavada to Mudali. Our day, Nedru Tutula, fact finding Sambidan of a lay. Our day, the Tra Christian Eagle, Adi Kuramai, Verta Yada Putuana, Avasta Portu, and then the Abu Gadi Kadero. Mr. Rahul Gandhi conducted or led two yatras, Bharat Jodo Yatra, Nyaya Yatra. During these yatras, his whole focus was to expose the politics of hate, the politics of polarization of uh, BJP and RSS campaign. But when it comes to electoral battle, he is not confronting BJP RSS directly. He is confronting the left.